We have a very special guest, the First Lady, Mrs. Fran DeWine is here to help us kick off the Stark County Imagination Library today. Um, and she, she's brought a book to share with the kids. And we have registration packets for anybody who's interested in signing their child up for the Stark County Ohio Imagination Library. And we hope you'll all sign up. Thank you. All right, well, it's good to be here and to meet all of you. And you know, I, I'm the, the mother of eight children and the grandmother of 24 uh, grandkids. And so I love, I love kids and I love reading kids. And I love books and I'm just excited to be here. This is the book I brought. And uh, actually the very first book that you get in the Dolly Parton Imagination Library program that we're bringing to Ohio is The Little Lady You Could. Now you don't get one. Chug, 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 puff, puff, puff. Ding dong, ding dong. The little train rumbled over the tracks. She was a happy little train, for she had such a jolly load to carry. Her cars were filled full of good things for boys and girls. So you see the, see the train going over the hills? And it's really good, isn't it? It's okay. It looks like it might have chocolate chips in it. I don't know. Yeah, that's chocolate chips. Okay. Then all of a sudden, she stopped with a jerk. She simply could not go one more inch. She tried and she tried, but her wheels would not turn. What were all those good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain going to do without their wonderful toys to play with and good food to eat? But we must get over the mountain before the children awake, said all the dolls and toys. The very little engine looked up and saw the tears in the doll's eyes. And she thought of the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain who would not have any toys or good food unless she helped. Puff, puff, chug, chug, with the little blue engine. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Can you guys say it? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Up, 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 faster and faster and faster. The little, little engine climbed. Look, let's go on. I think I can. Uh, uh, basically, you're here to, to uh, try to raise awareness about the Dolly Parton Imagination Library. Yes, uh, my grandkids were getting the books in the mail, and they were so excited when the books would come, you know, addressed to them. And so we started looking into it and, and found out what a great program it is. And so in, a, in the county where Mike and I are from, you know, Green County, uh, they've had it there for a number of years, probably 10 years. And it's been very successful, and I, we just thought, you know, let's uh, make this available to all kids in Ohio. But we knew that we had to put some money in it to jumpstart it so that we could, you know, expand it to all kids. I was, uh, I was especially interested in getting it to inner city children, some of the rural children, Appalachian children, that don't have access to libraries as easily. And so um, we, we thought if we got some money in the budget that that was going to, you know, help jumpstart it so that the whole county, the whole state could have it. And we know that a um, child's brain is almost completely, it's 80% developed by the time they're three years old. So what we do in those first year to, you know, second year, third year is so important. It's a book in the mail every month for every child from the time they're born until they turn five years old. So they get a dozen books a year. These come to the child, and obviously. 60 books. 60 books. They come, they come to the child, and the uh, uh, actually the address label on the back is addressed to the child. This is the last one they get. The first one they get is the little engine that could, and this is the last one they get when they turn five. Look out, kindergarten, here I come. I think that, you know, we want to teach our parents to read to the kids, and there's also been a lot of studies that show that just the physical holding a book, looking at pictures that aren't moving, that aren't digital, is very beneficial to the child's brain development. 